foreclosures in San Francisco. That were impaired? Yeah, that had legal problems. And it was eight, oh, you're talking about Phil Ting, Phil, Phil Ting, Ting, the right, assessor yeah. recorder. Uh, 80, okay. 84, yeah, 84% yeah, 84 had at least one legal violation. Yeah. 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 And it's modifications that are needed. Yeah. Modifications exactly. of these extreme mortgages that, that protect the banks mm -hmm. and, and uh, create stability <coughs> in the ownership of homes yeah. by our can you afford to pay a mortgage on your home, yes, Larry? Yes. The bank sold this house for $705,000, uh, which affects property values for everybody in the neighborhood, whether or not they support me or not. It, it just does. And it, it concerns everybody. It's not just me. And like I said, I've lived here for 50 years. Um, grew up here. And why are they picking on you? I mean, there are a number of Eichler homes here. Yeah. I mean, is it is it that they want to get more money from this particular <coughs> kind of home? Um, no, they sold the, the house was sold to a, a third party yeah. uh, real estate com company, um, and there was no <coughs> no notice to me. I, I don't know. I, I think my gut feeling is that Wells Fargo got vindictive after I complained to Senator Feinstein's office and kept complaining about their behavior to HUD and the Home Affordable Mortgage Program and to everybody else so that it's clear they did something <coughs> wrong. Um, and the bank keeps coming up with different explanations of, of what they claim to have done. And so far we're up to four different explanations, conflicting ex explanations. Like, you know, I know that if I were stopped by the police and had four different explanations, no. they, would, they would just take me away. There wouldn't be any question. You know, but they get away with it. Um, so far. So far. It just doesn't make any sense. Has Occupy been successful in getting homes that have already been sold back? Yeah, Occupy has been successful so far um, mm -hmm. in getting people's homes back. Um, and I'm optimistic that that will happen here as well. Um, in the meantime, I'm getting really gray. <laughs> I think we should keep in, I think we should keep in, ta in mind also the enormous wealth of Wells Fargo. It yeah. is a leading bank in the world, mm -hmm. and the San Francisco Chronicle uh, stated just a few uh, weeks ago that Wells Fargo's earnings were the highest ever in the in the third quarter. So, and I think they were in the room the a range of 4.8 billion exactly. dollars. So billion dollars in one quarter. Yeah, yeah, in one quarter. Wow. Yeah. So this is yeah. off the backs. This wealth is being garnered off the backs of people like Larry. Yeah. And, and they, they we're on to them. Yeah. Wells Fargo bought the loan from Wachovia, and I know they didn't pay full price for it. So they're they're just being obstinate, and, and there's no other logic to their uh, their behavior. Why do you think they gave gave you another two week reprieve? Um, pressure on the sheriff's office from Occupy Noe, Occupy Bernal, um, Supervisor Wiener, and um, yeah, Supervisor of, Avalos. Yes, Supervisor Avalos. Avalos. Yeah, yeah. Um, because it was just it was just so crazy to evict just me and let two people stay here. If it was you know separate units, it'd be one thing, but this is just a regular four bedroom house. Um, and evicting one person doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Mm -hmm. A question. Mm -hmm. Is there a